Hi, uh, my name is Vipul Sharma, and in this video, I'm going to show you how CloudGuard evaluates your cloud security posture and helps you detect as well as remediate problems so that uh, your security posture can improve. Uh, in this example, I'm, I'm going to start a database server, and uh, ideally, a database server sh uh, should have a private IP address. But if someone assigns a public IP address, CloudGuard will identify this as a problem. Uh, it, it can not only notify you of this problem, but can also automatically remediate this problem, or it can also uh, be configured to wait for you to hit OK uh, to let CloudGuard remediate the problem. So uh, let's get going. So I'll create a uh, compute instance in OCI. And uh, I'll use a Linux AMD. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a public IP address to this instance. So, yeah, let's keep it just as normal. So, wh while this instance is uh, going spinning up, I'll go and show you the Cloud Guard console. So this, this is the dashboard as of now. You see the security score is good. The score is 2171. If you see uh, the number of instance uh, problems that CloudGuard has currently shown, it's, it's, it's over here. If I click on the problems menu, it's gonna show the problems that has already identified. Uh, I'll, I'll select my compartment where I've created a DB instance. So I'll just look for the problems for today and so, so currently uh, that that instance is being spin uh, spinned up so we, we'll see whether cloud guard picks up picks it up as a problem so let's see if since is up and running yeah it is and if if you see over here uh, it shows currently that it, this instance has a public ip address which uh, which probably is not a good thing for a database server so uh, CloudGuard uh, will detect this as a problem and how CloudGuard detects it is, is using something called detector recipes. So if you see the configuration, it has uh, these policies that are there out of the box, which, which tell CloudGuard that uh, if, if it detects uh, some of these rules, then it basically identify it as a problem. And how it resolves the problem is, is some uh, by looking at something called responder recipes. So if you look at the responder recipes, Obviously, if if I if CloudGuard detects an event, it will it can take these actions uh, on on that particular problem. Any action that it does take is is also recorded, so it's it's not so, something that CloudGuard will do it in the background. The event will be generated even if it responds to a particular problem. So, it's the problem. Let's go to the problems here. This could take a while, so I'll, I'll just pause the uh, video for a minute. So now we can see that uh, the instance that has a public IP address, CloudGuard has detected this as a problem. It has highlighted this as a problem. So uh, now it gives you an option. Uh, what you can do is remediate this uh, automatically from CloudGuard, or you can send a notification, send this alert to a SIM or SOC or a NOC team. So uh, when, I, when I say remediate, it gives me a couple of options. What I can do is, uh, I can delete the public IP address that has been assigned to the instance. I can terminate the instance itself, or I can stop uh, the compute instance so that the NOC team or SOC team can look into it why it was assigned an IP address. In this case, I'm just going to delete the public IP address. And uh, once once it deletes it, it's also going to send a notification that uh, this, this instance had a public IP address, and this has now been remediated by CloudGuard. So I'll just hit remediate. And while this goes, let's let's keep an eye over here. Uh, this is the database server which has a public IP address over here. And once once the action is complete, we should see that the public IP address uh, will vanish from from this the system, and the only IP address that it will have is the private IP address. See, while while we were we were just looking at this, uh, the instance uh, public IP address has been removed by CloudGuard, and the instance now only is accessible internally within OCI using the private IP addresses. And if I go back, it should be green now. So, yep. So this, this has been resolved. 
So th this, this is what Cloud Garden can do. It can not only just detect the problems, it gives you an option to remediate the problems. It can also alert your, you know, your SOC team, send them an email, uh, integrate with Slack to send a notification when it detects a problem. And even when it rectifies a problem, uh, a Cloud Garden also generates an alert in that case as well. So hope this was useful. Thanks for watching.